Hey everyone, it's Pascal. I'm in North Carolina visiting my sister who I haven't seen in three years. And um, this is the sister that I've always referring to about how she relaxes her hair and she has the longest hair out of everyone in our family. So I figured it'd be a good idea to just talk to her, let you guys meet her, I guess, and um, she can tell you what she does. It's very simple because she's very low maintenance. So nothing for her is filled with drama. So. Here she is, my Hi. beautiful sister Petra. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I do is I wash my hair with any cheap um, shampoo, and then I put um, Pantene Pro-V, smooth and sleek. Actually, the new version is called Frizzy to Smooth. There it is. Yeah. And then um, when I'm done washing it and conditioning it, I'll take a handful of conditioner like this, and then I'll get some argon oil, 100% argon oil from any brand, put a couple drops, probably four or five drops, mm -hmm. mix it all together, put it on the left side, do the same thing for the right side, mm -hmm. and then wash it out. And then I'll take my hair like this, put it up like that on both sides, put something on it, and go to bed. <laughs> and then the next day, it's kind of, it's still wet, but mostly, yeah, it's mostly wet. So I'll get up, and I'll blow dry it and then I'll straighten it and then that'll be it. That's all I do until the next time I wash it. I don't put anything in my hair at all ever except for the argon oil. That serves as a moisturizer for a week or so. Hmm. So how often do you relax your hair? Um, every four to six months. I used to do it every six weeks but I was always <laughs> had really thin hair because of it because mm -hmm. of it being over processed and the point is not to um, process your hair until it's straight. It's to relax it. Mm -hmm. The straightening um, flat iron is what straightens it, but when you so relax hence, your hair. So hence yeah. the term relaxer, not fry it until it's completely yeah. bone straight. Like a lot of black people think, oh, I could never grow my hair long. It, it never grows. It grows, you just don't keep it on your head because you're frying it off with over-processing it. Right. So. So, I guess you've mastered relaxing hair instead of... Yeah, I've been through it all. The bald patches, the, <laughs> <laughs> the thin hair, the... Oh, forget it. I've been through it. Until I realized you're not supposed to fry it until it's straight when you're perming it. You just relax it. Relax it. So how often, how long do you leave the relaxer in? Well, when I'm getting my hair permed, I usually have my husband and my mom do it at the same time. So yeah. That way we have two people working at it instead of one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm rushing everyone like rush, rush, rush because yeah. the longer you keep it in on one area, that part's getting over processed. Right. So I try to get it done as fast as possible. You know, yeah. I stop going to the hairdresser because they used to. Um, just Take forever and yeah. smather it in every little itty bitty corner. Exactly, and by the time the front's done, the back's not done. Over, the, and the back's overdone. Right. And the so front's not done. So you'll end up all. with no hair right here, <laughs> edges all gone. It's just yeah. being over processed. So I'll probably keep it in for 15, no longer than 20 minutes from start to finish. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you're just gonna blow dry your hair now and then. Yep, yeah, and then I'll straighten it. So now she's blow drying. She's just using a regular old blow dryer. Um, I think it's 1875 watts. And oh, you know what the uh, the other key is? When you blow dry your hair, not to blow dry it until it's bone dry. When it's bone dry, it won't straighten as well. So I try to keep it probably kind of damp. get it 90. No, not even damp. Just 95 percent dry, and then just a bit of Wish. coolness. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is probably. Optimum, hat most dry, mostly dryness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me go from the other side. And you don't want it too wet, or else you know you'll have that steam going on. Yeah. Burning your scalp when you're straightening it. I think this side's probably dry enough. This side needs to be dry up towards the scalp. I'm so glad it's finally permed because I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> it's like, why don't you just go to a hairdresser and get your hair done? You look terrible. <laughs> but the hairdressers, I realize, don't know what they're doing. Yeah. It's 
really sad. Yeah, I don't I don't go to a hairdresser anymore either. Yeah, it's been like 11 or 12 years, and that's when my hair started growing, <laughs> when I stopped going. <laughs> when, I stopped, when you stopped going to the hair salon? Yeah, seriously. I think the last time I went to a hair salon was last year when they did that keratin treatment. Yeah. And we all know how that turned out. With my hair, what, having to be cut off like six, seven inches? <laughs> okay, and then I guess I'll start flattering it before the baby wakes up. Do you okay. know what she is? Um, oh, that's right here. So now she's just gonna straighten it with the flat iron, and I'll, I guess I'll record you doing uh, some of it so that they don't see that you're detangling it with, violently detangling it, but you're being gentle with it yeah. <laughs> and patient and yeah. you're not frying the garbage out of it either. Yeah. So. I don't violently detangle it because you rip your hair out. Mm-hmm. You can't have long hair if you're constantly tearing it out. Yep. Where's the comb? Which comb are you looking for? Any comb. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I want to show them how to straighten it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll get a comb. Okay. Section by section. Mm -hmm. The top is still a little bit too wet. And the chi is not hot enough. So let's just pause it and then we'll wait for the chi to heat up and okay. I'll blow dry it a little bit more. Okay. So you part little tiny sections like this. Mm -hmm. The length of the. Um... Hi. Hi. That's my nephew, Jarrison. <laughs> Say hi, Jarrison. Yeah. Okay, so we part little sections, get the comb, um, comb it out, mm -hmm. take the brush, put it behind, can you see this? Put what it behind. Kind of, what kind of brush is that? that it's just a, you know, a regular brush. I think. But you, you put the brush bristles all the way to the root, mm -hmm. and you do that like this, so that you're mine. using the brush to already That's straighten it. Mine. See how straight it looks already? Yeah. It's mine. Okay, pumpkin. And then I guess. I guess. You guess? Yeah. Awesome. Let's use the mirror. Yeah. I guess. So. You would like it faster. Can you just pass it over that one yeah, time? Yeah, I, I do it twice. Okay. You like it the red one? You like it faster? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That part's straight. And then you just continue that the whole way. Be patient. Do small sections. And, um, yeah, that's it. So here's the first straightened section. Alright, so we're gonna finish her. Well, she's gonna finish her hair. If she needs my help, I'll help her. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's probably gonna take. How long do you think it's gonna take? Probably 45 minutes. Okay. Hi, Dave. So, yeah. For about 45 minutes, so we'll be back in 45 minutes to show you the finished masterpiece of Petra's <laughs> long locks. <laughs> Bye. So this is it. Finally, um, straightened. I use a chi to straighten it, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cut it and um, try out some new stuff. Alright. So that's it then. You didn't do anything else extra special after no. you straightened it? No, I just flattened it with the, with the cheek. And that was it. Okay. Yeah, Alright, well, thanks for sharing. Thanks for showing us your baby. <laughs> your beautiful baby. And there's Ewan. There's Jerison. So. That's pretty much it, if you can see me. I did my hair too. And um, until next time, I'll see you. Take care. Bye.